Hello, during the last CTF, ACCTS 2020, uh, there was a task called Latte which possessed unique opportunity to script Ghidra even more. So this is what we'll do today, we'll script Ghidra uh, a bit more. Uh, so the task, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, was called Latte and it uh, contains a bunch of strings uh, like this. But if we look closer, we can see that those strings, actually when we convert those values to ASCII, they will be printable. So basically if we take this value from here, we copy paste it to the Python interpreter and decode hex will get a value in this case space so we'll script gidra to actually do it for us automatically so what we need to do in that case we need to start with an address so we will use the to other function uh, which we know from the previous video and let's just start at this address so if we execute this operation we'll have a uh, at adder it will be a Ghidra's address object. And now we can use this address to obtain the data. And how to do that? We need to get the listing object. Listing object represents what we see here in this uh, main window. And we can get listing object just directly from current program. Okay, uh, just if I need to type correctly, current program. So listing has an option or a function get data at and we pass an address and with that we obtain the value of this uh, data uh, okay so let's just assign it to a variable okay and now we can do some uh, stuff with it so basically uh, the default uh, option um, when we print the data is to actually uh, print the value but uh, yeah in this case we'll just call get value will give us the same so now what we need to do we need to decode this hex it will give us space and just additionally we need to uh, we need to remove uh, any spaces like uh, actual space character if there will be any because we'll use it as a label and label cannot uh, contain the spaces. So let's just replace space with an underscore. Okay, and with that we get a new name. And now how we can set this name as a, as a label here. And this we can do also with the data object that we actually uh, have. And on that we'll call um, get primary symbol and it will give us the primary symbol associated with this data in this case we only have one and it's label it can be uh, many but in this case it will work and uh, on that we can call set name function we have such function and for function uh, we need to pass a new name and uh, additional value that uh, indicates how this value was obtained and in this case we will use user, uh, user, I don't remember the value. So let's just uh, use our cheat sheet, user defined, the source type user defined. Okay, so this is what we need to pass, but it will, uh, actually it works because I already uh, imported, but to make it work, we need to import something. So uh, this line has to be imported it imports the source type and basically with that we see that uh, this um, label here was changed to space which we obtain from this value that is defined here so basically what we need to do now is just to uh, do it in a loop uh, so basically uh, over and over again until we reach the end of the data and there are some uh, cases actually that we need to uh, take into consideration because we have those null bytes here uh, there's also like uh, some other data in between those strings so we need to correctly um, handle those and this is what actually I'm doing here so basically this is the full program that uh, we can use to script so basically we import the variable that uh, oh, the type that we need 
then we just start with an address okay then we get the listing which we already know then okay while true so basically when we still have something to do we will do it then we get the data at an address then okay if we didn't get anything so it's none we'll just break okay then if it's not defined so basically the Ghidra did not recognize any data at this address so basically here we have its undefined data we'll just in this case we'll just continue looking for data so we'll just uh, add the length of the data that we uh, obtained to an address so basically uh, skipping the the data and we'll just continue so next uh, loop iteration then the same uh, generating the name so basically from the value decode hex replace it actually we need to call it because one of the entries has actually space in it but i think it's a mistake uh, basically all the other label doesn't have space in it so i think it's just a mistake by uh, yeah ctf uh, organizer that this one uh, has uh, space in it but it doesn't uh, yeah, prevent us from scripting it okay and then when we do it we just uh, yeah uh, add to an address a length of the data so basically get to the next data uh, address and then we just need some uh, exit condition so basically if we reach a certain address we know that there is no longer any data to process so we'll just break and basically that's it so when now we will execute this script so let's just scroll here maybe we'll execute the script and we see that all the labels were uh, replaced with the string representation of the text that is here so basically this is double quote this is hash dollar sign etc percent ampersand and it works till here there's some undefined data so we skip those write parentheses asterisks and so on and so on column semicolon so basically we were able to script Ghidra to do some uh, work automatically and we don't have to do it manually there was not that many strings here we could do it manually uh, but at least it's good to know that we can script the listing object uh, to perform some operation so if we have any need for even more uh, automation or scripting then we can do it and that's all i hope you liked the video if you haven't watched the previous one um, i encourage you to do it and if you like please hit the like button and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye